all right guys good morning and uh, it's quite early in the morning and uh, now I'm going to a Taoism temple mountain the temp the temple is built up on the top of the mountain it's called the Mao Shan which is very famous in China so let's head on the road and uh, there you go Now I'm reaching to this like a cable car uh, point at the back of me and as you can see this is a very typical uh, like sightseeing place and uh, it is really uh, beautiful actually. it's uh, very traditional so let's uh, go and uh, see what we will find over there Mao Shan Grass and Reeds Mountain was one of the great and famous sacred mountains of traditional China, located in Zhenjiang in Jilong County of Jiangsu Province. It was and remains the principal seat of Shangqing, Supreme Highest Clarity or Primordial Purity School of Classic Taoism. During the 19th and the 20th centuries, the worst long era in all China's history, the combination of the Taiping Rebellion, the World War II Japanese invasion, and the radical communist cultural revolution completely destroyed all the temples on Mao Shan, a historical tragedy of cultural heritage sites. So here you got a quite old uh, historical uh, bell, and uh, I think you need to pay money to like uh, hit the bell which I'm not going to do that the temple building complex you see now is the entrance to take the cable car that lifting the tourists to the main temples up to the mountain still I feel the history of the ancient China here although the statues in the temples were all rebuilt recently guys I'm now on the cable car and uh, you may not be able to see the, the whole thing but uh, yeah uh, the, the cable cart cost me <laughs> like a 90 MB to uh, come back to the area because I, I have to come back and uh, now it's like uh, down to the valley and then lift it up to the, the hill and uh, but the ridiculous thing is since it's a working day <laughs> I only got myself a length like uh, you know, you, you can see all those uh, cable cars. Uh, it's empty, and just me, and bring two cameras, and uh, sitting here. After about fifteen minutes of ride, I arrived at Mao Shan Top Mountain, where the temples of Jiu Xiao Palace located. It is still attractive when you see the Taoist temple from distance. What a complex trip! I just finished the cable cart. Now I'm entering the first palace of the Taoism Temple, and it is on the top of the mountain. And uh, I was asking uh, the staff uh, working in the ticket office, and they told me, and there are another two like palaces which is on the mountain, but uh, I have to take bus to get there. So let's check it out this uh, palace at first because this is the the most famous one, and uh, then we will consider how to get there. Anyway, good luck. This is the entrance gate, which is massive, and. Uh, Look at this place, it's really massive. So they are asking me to uh, buy some uh, incense uh, to burn in the, in the temple. Uh, I don't have any desire to. Today it's a little bit foggy. If uh, the weather is good, this is a very beautiful scenery. And there's a lake over there. This is the, the palace. 
So in Chinese, it's called uh, fuck. It's uh, it's it's really difficult to read. Jiu Xiao Wan Fu Gong. So I can't translate it. It's like uh, some uh, holy palace uh, located on the top of the uh, heaven or something. And now you can't see it. I think uh, we need. So I think you need to to pay it to uh, to have a, a scope to to lock down to the hill. But uh, yeah, now they accept uh, Alipay and the wishing. Now I'm I'm going to get into the temple. So here's the the main entrance, and uh, they they paint the wall in red, and uh, it's really looks legit and uh, like uh, history uh, buildings. So let's uh, heading to the inside and have a look. Two of the ancient temples, Jiu Xiao Gong and the Yuan Fu Gong, have been rebuilt by modern local governments, but only for tourism and not for any authentic religious or spiritual practice purposes. Now you see the locals dressed in monastic robes but faking the rituals in order to collect donations operating those shrines. There are some people inside and outside China who are claiming to practice and teaching Shangqing Mao San Taoism, but their doctrines and the techniques are extremely different from the original ones that developed and flourished in the Tang Dynasty. The Dao Guan, how many years has it been? 就这个就这就是这个对吧？呃，其他这个都是后面后建的。后建的。你们几个可能造这个，造两个在后建的。哦，这个都是新的，扩大的。这个都是新的。两边扩大的。嗯。那现在，比如说大家信这个东西的人多不多？多。多啊。这个都有名有名气大的。名气大的、啊。嗯，我也是慕名而来。对，名气大。千多年那很长的历史了。什么什么地方的？我啊，我是上海人啊，我上海的。嗯。我我从上海，上海浦东，浦东嘛开发区啊。嗯，我一个这里把在浦东。哦，你们这里现在还有临时隔离点的？嗯，就是就是那个去的商店房子有什么事情？哦，什么有不要紧。哦，我们腊月三十三十下午，今年腊月就是三十日下午啊，十二点钟关门的。哦，全部关门。就是今年的年初的时候，对吧？对，腊月三十晚，腊月三十五，腊月三十就是年初，对对对对，年过年啊，年三十，年三十，后来就一直关着了，一直关了，六月三号才开放，六月三号才，六月三号才开放，哦，那今年香火钱少了很多了，损失大了，全国人民受受损，是的，是的，这不是开心，嗯，好，你是你是属于这里的什么道士啊？对，哦，我来了二十七二十七年了。二十七年，那你一直就是修行这个了。我们就是茅山人。茅山人啊。道教求精神，佛教求来世。道教求精神。对，精神精神做善事，做好事。嗯，那大家都是说要做善事，哎、对吧？现在世界上不是跟全都是好人，还有坏人。啊，那肯定的，坏人多的去了。这个不能不能那么平等的，嗯，对吧？对对，平等很难实现的。对，这个<笑>这个世界这么大。那精神就是说自己内在的修炼了，嗯，这个这个是什么东西啊？人家人家功德，人家心的功德摆在上面，功德。哦，那玩这个这个就是循环循环血液啊，循环血液啊，挺好的。哎呀，我们这一代人，你说从小就今年多大？我今我八零年生的，四十岁。八零年应该四十一属猴的。四十一对属猴的，嗯，八零年。呃，我们对这个东西不是很了解，现在开始想慢慢了解一下。你那个最大缺点没有心智，人太实在了。我啊、嗯，你看得出来？看出来了。嗯，你面孔都看出来，很厚道，没有心智，没心眼。不想想太多心机的事情。哎、这样好。嗯。心态好，特别心态好。嗯，心态好。能活在短短几十年，对吧？是的，是的。心态挺想想活。不要跟人家比，像。心机太深也活这几十年。少少用点，不能跟人家攀比。对对对对人不能比人。对，我钱有钱就花嘛，反正钱不花不是没办法体现价值，对吧？对对对，有道理。哎，好的，好，谢谢师傅啊。嗯、啊，好。And I was talking to the Taoist um, uh, monk, and、uh, 
So the, the building behind me is uh, very old. It's uh, 2,000 years old. Tao is the temple. And for these two several buildings, they also have like several hundred years of history. And uh, but they are all built later. So this uh, is the, the central compound of the, the temple buildings. I'm not a religious guy, but I'm still very interested in the tales of our ancient history. I'm fully aware that the stories nowadays are most likely re-scripted and twisted on purpose to control and manipulate people. But if you dig the content in depth, I believe you will still find the truth even though it might not reveal a whole picture of the history. This is the, uh, the Da Mao Peak. So this is the peak elevation of this mountain, which is 372.5 meters high. And this is the gate that uh, the, the Taoist, uh, like across the gate and uh, became immortal in the heaven. So this is quite amazing uh, spot that you have to check it out at this place. It's called San Tianmen. So in the legend, and uh, if you across this uh, gate, then you entering the uh, holy and uh, mystical heaven place. So I take here as a spot that uh, I have to show up in the camera. So this is uh, the, the one that uh, maybe everyone should take a picture. So that's why they put uh, a camera over there. Let's uh, across the gate and get to the heaven and uh, see the, the emperor in the heaven. I'm uh, almost finished the, the temple's tour and uh, compared to, to the temples in Shanghai, this place is really nice and way better than I expected. But I still have like uh, two more temples to explore and another a cave they call it Xianlen Dong. Alright guys, thanks for watching. The Mountain Trip has part two, which I will take you guys to see 6.5 million years old limestone cave called the Immortal Cave and a grand Lao Tzu Taoist bronze statue. If you love the trip, please leave your comments, thumb up and subscribe. See you next time.